that the Nigerian worker is not subsidized by the ruling class and the elites. I must commend you for standing firm to ensure that the welfare of Nigerian workers are improved you know, uh, at this point in time. We, we thank you so much for your effort and the effort of your team. So we are here because of the situation we find ourselves. The situation is that for the past 18 years, the National Assembly has been working to secure a legislation that will protect Nigerians with disabilities from discrimination and harmful practices. These bills have been passed for four times. Regrettably, the former president, Chief Ulishoku of Asanjo, uh, denied it assent. Uh, Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan denied it assent two times. In 2015, while the campaign was going on, the ruling APC assured us that they are going to pass the safety bill and they are also going to sign it into law. As I speak to you, this bill was passed in 2016 by both chambers. Between 2016 and today, we have been having issues around ensuring that this bill is transmitted to the president for assent. Sir, between 2016 and 2017, December 2016 and December 2017, the bill went missing. So the, you know, uprooting or bringing out the bill where it was hidden. Between 2017 December and today, the National Assembly in promise that they are going to fast track the process to pass that bill into law. In, in, in March 15 and April 15, 2018 this year, these bills were passed, adopted after the humanization by both chambers. Sir, in the process of cleaning the bill for transmission to Mr. President for assent, it was discovered that there was error on the bill. Between April and today, sir, the National Assembly is still struggling to clean the errors found on the bill to enhance transmission to Mr. President. On the 10th of October, we protested from Unity Fountain to the National Assembly, demanding for completion of action on the disability bill to ensure that Mr. President assent to the bill before they go to the field for campaign. The National Assembly told us, in particular, the Senior President Representative, Senator Sheo Sani, told us that they are going to conclude action on the disability bill between 10th of October that we protested and the next seven days, because we gave them seven days ultimatum that if they fail to complete action on the disability bill, they will have no other choice than to mobilize Nigerians to join us, to join forces with people with disabilities to demand a selected action to ensure that the president assent to it. Part of the thing we've highlighted as, as part of our mobilization is to come and visit you as we are doing today, to share with you our frustration, our bitterness, our anger, to, 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 to present to you the extent of the ruling class and the, the bourgeois good office to demand from the National Assembly for necessary actions on the safety bill. Sir, this bill contains, you know, robust provision that will enhance quality of life and give social protection to vulnerable, to vulnerable group. In particular, the bill provides for the criminalization of discrimination on the grounds of disability. Sir, it will interest you to know that when a call for employment is made, if people with disabilities go for employment, they discriminate against them by reason of their, of their disability. In fact, we get reports from time to time, people who suffer disability in the workplace, and they were asked to go. Sometimes with little or no uh, rehabilitation packages. This affects average Nigerian worker that suffers disability. In most cases also, sir, we've seen people with disabilities in, 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 in workplaces that are being undermined, that are being, you know, segregated, they are being frustrated in their effort, you know, to contribute maximally in the workplace. This bill provides for equal access to public infrastructure. That is to say, as we just enter your office today, stress-free, that what the bill provides, that every public building must be accessible to people with disabilities. It also provides that people with disabilities should have access to 
education, access to health care, access to political participation, access to employment. In fact, it creates a percentage of 5% that should be reserved in the workplace for poor disabilities. The question all of us is, have is that if disability occur to a working Nigerian, what would you do? Is there any law that pro to protects him? There is no law. And that is why this uh, uh, bill is critical to us. We are also believing that when this bill is signed into law, we are going to join hands together with all, all actors to ensure its operationalization. We have also designed a policy brief on this uh, disability bill in which we are also going to circulate and share it with you. Request from you that you call on Nigerian authorities to begin to do the needful, to remove barriers that hinders Nigerian workers with disabilities from participating and contributing to the issue, to the social economic you know, uh, development of Nigeria. That is why we are here, and we thank you so much for this audience. Thank you, sir. Well, all the issues you have stated that are contained in the bill are already given. Yeah. Uh, there is no country around the world that such provisions and facilities are not actually made available for people with disability. They are Nigerians, they have ability in fact. Some of you have more ability than even people that, are, that have no disability. And therefore there is no basis for discrimination. Uh, we will not support any discrimination. And let me assure you that uh, before close of work today, I will personally sign a letter to the Senate President, reminding him of what has transpired, and soliciting for his uh, support. In the uh, same letter will also go to the right honorable speaker uh, for that process to be facilitated. We have to visit the National Assembly. We we'll put this among our demands. Thank you, and I will catalog all of these uh, processes you have mentioned. Yeah. And uh, possibly before you go, I will ask you to see uh, my uh, staff here to actually drop that letter immediately to accommodate all the issues mentioned and the bill in reference. Thank you, uh, so that together we can follow up the process. It's unfortunate that. Uh, we are coming almost uh, when the issue is becoming very late, but I think even now the issue can be salvaged. And therefore, I want to assure you that uh, we share your grief, we share in your challenges, we share also your aspiration, uh, because as you said, we have many workers that are also uh, disabled persons, and therefore we will not allow a situation where they are discriminated, either before employment or during employment. I think. Uh, all human beings are created equal under the law and under the constitution of the federal government. Therefore, the constitution does not allow uh, discrimination. The constitution also does not allow uh, undermining uh, the ability of people with disabilities. So I want to assure you that uh, you have come to the right place uh, because this is an institution that has always stood by the people, especially the land trodden and people that have challenges. And many have been here and we have worked together assiduously to actually support their cause. So if I knew uh, that process took place, we would have also joined you and uh, supported your cause. But I think it's not late. We'll do the date and see how we work together uh, to see these issues uh, attended to. So once again, I thank you immensely uh, for having time to be here. I really uh, salute your courage. I salute your dedication and importantly your contribution to our national development. And nobody can ignore uh, the contribution of every Nigerian to our national development, including people with disability. Uh, so once again, I thank you very much. Uh, because elsewhere around the world, people with disability also need to be engaged. Uh, because we have seen in some part of Nigeria, because of lack of engagement, and lack of also uh, adhering to some of the provisions in this people, they have become also a menace to the society. that God has created has potential in And therefore, disability cannot be a reason uh, to actually write on people and think they don't have protection. But there is ability in disability. Therefore, once again, I thank you immensely. I congratulate you for coming, and I assure you that working together to ensure that those of your members that are denied these opportunities are able to actually uh, get these opportunities, and that is what working together can be able to deliver. So, once again, I thank you immensely. I want to salute the courage, but importantly, the unity. And to have a platform like the one you are having is actually what is required. Individually, our voice may not be heard, but collectively, if we work together, our voice will be heard, and nobody can ignore a united people. So once again, I thank you very much for this wonderful event. Thank you very much.
I support Nigerian Disability Bill. I support Nigerian Disability Bill. Thank you very much.